In this video we are going to see Siemens PLC hardware. A PLC is made up of both hardware and software. Hardware is the part of a system that you can see, and software is the collection of computer programs that control what the hardware does. PLC hardware also connects to other hardware, such as input and output devices and human machine interfaces, HMLs. Although not shown in the graphic, a programming device can be considered as PLC hardware, but it is only connected to the PLC when needed. Because PLC applications vary in complexity, there is considerable variation in the appearance of PLC hardware. In a typical application, small and medium-sized PLCs are often used to control individual machines or manufacturing cells. These PLCs typically communicate via a network to one or more larger PLCs that collect data and coordinate the operation of some or all of the system. Additionally, because the needs of customers vary widely, Siemens Somatic PLCs are available as 1. Modular controllers 2. Embedded controllers, or as 3. PC-based controllers of these three categories, modular controllers are the most common. Modular PLCs Somatic S7 modular PLCs include a variety of models. For example, S7300 and S7400 PLCs have been in service for many years. S7300 and S7400 PLCs More recently, S7-1200 and S7-1500 have been introduced. Regardless of the model, Somatic S7 modular PLCs are optimized for control tasks and can be adapted to meet application requirements by adding modules. Typical PLC module types are CPU modules Power supply modules Signal modules Communication modules and Special Purpose Modules Central Processing Unit, CPU PLC CPU modules all contain a microprocessor, which is an integrated circuit that runs the computer software and memory circuits that store the user program and related of data and may include a removable memory card. A CPU may also have an internal power supply that converts the supplied power to the tittered low voltage DC needed by internal circuits. If the CPU does not have an internal power supply, a system power supply module is needed to provide power CPUs typically have the following three operating modes. In the stop mode, the CPU is not executing the user program, and a new program can be downloaded to the CPU. In the startup mode, the CPU executes any startup logic, if present. In the run mode, the CPU executes the PLC scan repeatedly. The specific mode the PLC is in at any given time depends on a software setting and whether or not a critical CPU error has occurred in the event of a critical error, the CPU is designed to go into the stop mode. The current mode for S7-1200 and S7-1500 PLCs is shown by the CPU run slash stop LED. The current mode for S7-1500 PLCs is also shown on the CPU's integrated display.